There are several reasons why your electric car won't go as far as advertised. In this video, I will show you how the actual range could be reduced by 85% from what is advertised. You may not be able to go more than 12 miles from your home before it's time to turn around and come back. I know that some people aren't interested in math, so I'm putting the math in a separate video. In this video, though, there will be simple equations like this one. This represents an 85% reduction in range. Why would the actual range be less than advertised? One reason is that they advertise the range based on a brand new battery. As your battery wears out, its capacity dwindles. Over a few years, it will lose over 10% of its energy storage capacity. The way I would show this is to write this equation. Actual range equals advertised range times 0.9. This equation says the actual range is 10% less than advertised. There are other reasons why the range is reduced, and I don't want to keep using numbers because we can forget what they stand for. So I'm going to replace the 0.9 with COB, which is shorthand for the old battery coefficient. The range is also reduced because you need a safety margin. You can't rely on being able to perfectly predict how far your car will go without risking running out of energy half a mile from home. Let's say we want a 10% safety margin, so we introduce another 0.9 coefficient. Actual range equals advertised range times COB times CSM, where CSM is our safety margin coefficient. If COB is 0.9 and CSM is 0.9, then our actual range is 81% of the advertised range. Now I introduce another reason why the range is reduced, and that is because we cannot fully charge our battery. Nissan claims that you should not charge your battery more than 80%, or you will severely limit the lifetime of the battery. So I introduced CBM, where BM stands for bad marketing. They should have called the 80% level 100%. I'm not sure if they still do this or if other manufacturers do this. There was a class action lawsuit against Nissan by people in California and Arizona on this issue. I'll put a link in the video description, but you can just Google Nissan Leaf lawsuit to learn more. The last coefficient I want to discuss is CAC, which is the reduction in range because you want to run the air conditioner. Searching the internet, I found that CAC is around 0.7 for highway and 0.5 for city driving. Your range is reduced 30% on the highway and 50% in the city if you want to use the air conditioner. In the city then, your range would look like this. Actual range equals advertised range times 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.8 times 0.5 or actual range equals advertised range times 0.324. The Nissan LEAF advertises that you can go 73 miles on a charge. 73 times 0.324 is 24 miles. This means you can drive 12 miles out and then 12 miles back. If your battery is not brand new, you want a safety margin, you don't want to severely limit the lifetime of your battery, and it is hot and sunny out and you want to use the air conditioner. Next, I want to take a closer look at how our range is reduced by using the air conditioner. It seems that we should be able to come up with an equation for CAC as a function of how fast we're going. According to Tesla, the power needed to run the air conditioner or heater goes up the faster you go due to the wind chill effect. The wind chill effect has to do with moist humans and not cars. There would be an increase in convection with increased speed, but convection is not the problem. We also don't have a problem with compressing the air in front of us as we go faster. This is a problem for supersonic aircraft and meteors, not cars. The biggest problem is sunlight entering the windows, and this is not a function of how fast you're going. If you assume that the power needed to pump out the heat due to sunlight is constant, then you can see why your range is reduced more if you're going slower. You need to run the air conditioner longer if you're going slower. Imagine you just sit in your car running the air conditioner then you would completely drain your battery and your range would be zero. If you were moving at the speed of light, then you would only have to run the air conditioner for a millisecond or so. In that case, the range reduction due to the air conditioner would be almost zero. CAC as a function of how fast you're going might be something like this. I wanted a formula for CAC as a function of speed and I made one using simple physics and algebra. My derivation is in another video if anyone is actually interested. In this video, I will just present this plot. This plot shows three possible cases. I assume that highway speed was 65 miles an hour, 
and made a plot where the highway range reduction coefficient was 0 0.75, 0 0.85, and 0.95. It depends on how hot it is, so you might use the top curve if it's cloudy and the bottom curve if it is sunny. If you're making a run to the grocery store, you might be going 40 miles per hour part of the time and 0 miles per hour part of the time. You would be going 0 when stopped in traffic or driving around looking for a place to park. Your average speed might be 20 miles an hour. Your range could be reduced by 85% just to run your air conditioner. If they advertised a 100 mile range, your actual range would just be 10 miles. If your grocery store is more than 5 miles away, you would want to go at night when you wouldn't need to use the air conditioner. I really want an electric car and I'm optimistic that the range will be improved in the near future, but for now I will stick with my gas powered car and get my windows tinted to save gas. You can get your windows tinted for about $200 and should save that much in gas every year if you live in a sunny place.